Welcome to Flash Tutorial Halloween Scene Part 1. It's one of many. When you've completed this series of Halloween Scenes tutorials, you'll have created this interactive video. This is the pattern. As the pieces appear, click and drag them into position. There are, I believe, six of these puzzles. You don't have to be fussy at all. As soon as they come close, the next one's called up. There's one more, it's the witch. Now the Crypt Keeper does its business. There's the house. Two fences. Three trees. Lots of bats. a star for the witch. I think one of the moons stays there for a bit and takes off. Now the path coming down from the house. And the pumpkins. Happy Halloween. You could say from Tom, Dick, or Bill, or whatever. Originally, I tried to make it so that people with little experience could follow along, but I had to abort that idea. Um, I was up to part 19, and I wasn't even halfway through the project yet, so that just got completely out of hand. Every tool that I'm using on the program, on the flash program and most of the action script I've used in previous tutorials and if you are able to follow them and um, can relate to them you may be able to complete this project maybe you want to give it a try and if you have problems I might be able to help you so let's get started I have I'm going to start a new document. Make the width 650 and make the height of the stage 500. And make the frame rate 12. Okay. I'm going to make my stage to fit the window so I can see it. I'm going to label this first layer intro. I N T R O and I'm going to draw a pumpkin. I'm going to put it up here for now. 
selection tool just draw a pumpkin you can draw anything you want it's a ha long as the Halloween thing and modify convert it to a symbol we're going to make that a button and it's going to be called pumpkin p u m p k i n underscore b t n as in button I'm going to copy this and give it this instance name pumpkin paste with this first frame still selected I'm going to put in a text box now my text box has white text so let's go to the properties panel click off to the side and this stage color let's just make it for for now um, some dark color but not black how about your gray for now and I have a text box it says help make a Halloween scene and if I look at it it's Lucida calligraphic it's a static text make sure in your static text 31 points and white that's what I've chosen because eventually my black background is going to be black on this same layer I have a second set of text and it says click on the pumpkin when you're ready and you can lay them out in any manner you wish lock this layer insert a new layer call it action script AS select that layer the first thing we want in here is a stop STOP open close semicolon and we want some code for the pumpkin type 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 so this says pumpkin underscore button it's an add event listener and it's a mouse event click and I'm calling it frame fussy that's what I'm calling the, the function that's called up there's my frame fussy and this function says go to and stop on fussy so fussy is the name of the next frame so if you copy that that's the number one lock all the layers select the intro layer insert a new one and call it labels lab as in labels S select it open the properties panel and in here paste that word fussy so now when I press the enter sign I now have that frame fussy just click on it and make it the second frame so now when we press the button we're going to jump to to this to this next frame lock the layers select the second frame of this intro layer insert a blank keyframe it's going to be new information here and unlock the layer and draw a bat there's the bat there's my bat nothing fussy what you might want to do is make sure when you make your bat you have some white highlights around it because again the background is going to be black and we wouldn't see it and I don't know if you can see if you look up close he has red eyes or at least a red eye we're going to put a text box here it's that same same text as we did on the first frame you will be given a series of jigsaw puzzles to put together Don't put it too close to the bat because we're going to turn that bat into a button in a few minutes. We're going to put in a second text box. The Crypt Keeper will straighten them out for you. And a third text box. Click on the bat and get started. All on this intro layer. Now make sure you only have the bat selected. Modify. Convert it to a symbol make sure button is selected BAT underscore BTN copy it open the properties panel because it's still selected and 
paste in this instance name bat open lock all the layers open this action frame one and let's copy this copy it all insert a blank keyframe here open up the action panel paste in what you just did now it's going to be bat button b a t underscore b t n and instead of going to frame fussy let's go to frame crypt c r y p t and if you change the crypt here then you have to change it to crypt here c r y p t and again in these quotations c r y p t and let's just copy that right click copy it go back to the main timeline select this third frame of the labels insert a blank keyframe open the properties panel in and paste that label in there make sure all your layers are locked select the intro layer insert a layer call it fussy select frame 2 insert a blank keyframe select frame 3 right click remove that frame go back to that frame 2 we can see all the stuff from this layer here and let's make another text box it's the same Lucida calligraphic but it's bigger it's 37 points and the color I chose was red and now would be a good time to embed the, the text so click this embedded this panel opens up click uppercase lowercase numerals and punctuation in this corner that's okay now while this is highlighted if it isn't pick your selection tool and highlight this don't be fussy modify convert it to a symbol this one's going to be a movie clip movie clip and it's called fussy movie clip f u s s y underscore m c and copy that right click copy it okay while it's still highlighted open the properties panel and paste it in make sure all the layers are locked select the fussy layer insert one and call it crypt c r y p t crypt select frame three of this layer insert a blank keyframe and on that stage draw yourself a crypt and put it roughly in the center of the stage for now and there's my crypt let's go up to the actions layer insert a blank keyframe open the actions panel and put a stop now let's see what happens when we test this out test the movie be good to have no errors no errors when we're finished the pumpkin's going to be down here but I want them up here while I'm doing my test so I press on this we jump to this frame and this bat will be down here but during my test I want them up here because if there's errors up here I want to be able to see them click on my bat and it takes it to my crypt I think that's enough for this tutorial if you plan on doing part two make sure you save this FLA hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learned.